I've already printed one color, it's the two color job. And what I did was I drew a center line. And on the artwork itself, I created these lines to line up and register with the platen. Now I'm printing black here, so it's going to overprint and you're not going to see it. So these are some of the techniques you can use for hiding registration. Uh, so anyway, when you, when, when you go to print, uh, you would just place this directly back in the proper position. Now to create the artwork to begin with, I took both colors, created uh, a film positive and made it black, and then I lined it up onto the CD itself and then just uh, spray mounted it onto the CD. And then when you line up the CD, you can uh, bring your screen down and register it to that. And you can register both colors also using the same method. Now I'm going to use uh, the ink that I'm using is a 59,000 series. It's an enamel which is a conventional ink. It's an air dry ink. Now with the air dry inks you have to use a lot of ventilation and they will dry so you have to work at a good consistent pace. And what we use is uh, in this case this is a 300 mesh screen. We've got a really nice sharp squeegee uh, very, very, it's like a medium, not, not the hard edge, but it's not the real soft either. It's about a 70 durometer. And so really, the, the black ink is what we're going to use now. And with the, uh, the NASDAR 59000 series, it's a really good ink, but it's very thick. So you have to make sure you thin it down. You don't want the consistency too thick or too thin. If it's too thin it's just going to not give you good coverage. If it's too thick it's going to dry your screen out real quick. Now one, one thing as well is when you are printing you want to do a flood stroke. Now with screen printing on t-shirts your ink is a lot thicker. So a lot of times when you do a flood stroke you'll put the ink over top and it'll just be piled up. With this ink it being a lot thinner you just want to cut it. You just want to do a real sheer cut on your ink. And that way your, your screen won't dry out. You have a little bit longer uh, time between prints. Now you can do, you know, four prints a minute. If you're working at that speed, you should be fine. Uh, with the flood stroke, you could probably extend that even a little bit more. And uh, the other thing is when, when you're doing a flood stroke like this, the higher the mesh, the cleaner the print. But on this other image, on this other CD, uh, there's a reversed out print with a really small text and because of that you you may not always want to do a flood stroke because you don't want that text filling in so I might have, you know I probably printed two three without a flood stroke and then do a flood stroke that kind of thing or vice versa just depending if your image is filling in so just to get you started you can see I did a real cut sheer cut or if you want to push it the other way you can push it the other way as well And as you can see, I'm just going to do another flood stroke so I can show you. And so there is the two color CD. So we'll just go ahead and print a few of these just to kind of show you at the, the speed you should be working at. really about it. And I'm just going to keep printing these till they're finished, but uh, in the meantime, again, you know, one thing you really want is you want really good ventilation uh, because this ink will have a tendency to fill up the room really quick. And uh, it is very, it does smell quite a bit, so just make sure that you have good fan, good ventilation. Uh, I also have a, uh, a little machine that uh, will put ion, it's an ionizer, so it will put ions back into the air. Uh, and it also just drops any kind of uh, smells that are also in the air. Uh, one other thing, now I think about it, is you can see because of this platen, it's got this uh, raised surface here. It will wear down on your screen uh, the more you do that. So what I've done is I've just taken a piece of tape right onto the bottom of the screen and I placed it right underneath, right where that area is. And that'll keep your 
uh, screen from breaking through. And, and if you don't do that and you have a large run, it will break through eventually and it'll begin to pull up all over your, your platen and all of your squeegee and, or not squeegee, I'm sorry, all over the bottom of your screen and uh, it's just going to make a mess. And again, you know, the, the less time you spend printing, the more time you're going to have problems trying to clean out your screen. So, again, I'm just going to go ahead and keep printing and if you have any questions, Feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email.